It's uh, 704. Welcome to the Lakeville Parks Department meeting. Uh, in accordance with the provisions allowed by Chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021, the June 2nd, 2022 public meeting of the Lakeville Parks Commission will be held remotely. However, to view this meeting in process, please go to facebook.com slash lakecam. You do not need a Facebook account to view the meeting. This meeting will be recorded and available to be viewed at a later date at http backslash www.lakecam.tv. Okay, moving forward. Have you um, commissioners had a chance to review the minutes of the meetings that were so kindly recorded for us? Yep. Yes. Okay, we'll start with the first one. Um, May 21st. Did you have a chance to review for grammatics and looks like she did a very good job? Yeah. Did anybody have any issues or concerns or changes or? Nope. No. Nope. I'd entertain a motion to accept uh, minutes of the April 21st, 2022 Park Commission meeting. I second the motion. Any further discussion? None heard. All those in favor? Mike Aye. Smith? Aye. Paula Hull? Aye. Scott Holmes? Aye. Okay, great. Fantastic. Um, the next minutes were May 5th, 2022. Did you have a chance to review those? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. Okay. Did anybody find any grammatics or changes that they needed to make? Nope. No, then I entertain a motion to accept the minutes of May 5th, 2022 of the Lakeville Parks Commission meeting. Do I have a second? I second. Thank you. Any further discussion? None being heard. Michael Smith, how do you vote? Aye. Paula Hull, how do you vote? Aye. Scott Holmes, aye. Thank you very much. Good. All right, we're staying on top of that. Okay, moving on down. Um, I just put number two in there in case anybody um, wanted to, uh, we could build um, any further questions um, for um, the Wailing City Haunted House Festival. I have not had a chance to talk to anyone from Town Hall. Um, I've been very busy the last two weeks with work. Um, does anybody have any other issues or concerns or questions? Um, I think we covered it with him. Okay. I, mean, I haven't done any more, but I, but I think uh, our major concerns were addressed. Okay. Uh, I do have an issue that we need to bring to them and they need to be made aware of it. And it is a very important issue. And that is the case of um, mosquitoes. That if, if the mosquitoes, if, if they're found to have the viruses in them, um, the Board of Health will shut down the parks at dusk. And if that's the case, they will not be able to work on the haunted house, nor will they be able to entertain guests. Have we it had could, that happen before? Yeah, I was going to ask. It, it, it could completely shut them down. No, have, my point has is that happened that in the past? We've had it, and um, we were shut down twice, um, but we got a hard frost just in time for them to open. But it is a, they need to be made aware of it because it could be devastating um, if it were to be prolonged and we had a, a cool fall instead of a cold fall, um, you know, and there's nothing we can do about that. I just, I just wanted to bring it up. That's fine, I agree. Um, Never thought about it. I thought it would be too chilly for mosquitoes, but I guess. It's a good point. Well, it, it all depends, you know, I mean, it's, it's, we need a hard frost, you know, um, and then, and then they didn't always okay it after that. Um, so it had to come down from the state and then this, then the, then the town okayed it. So I, I just think, uh, I, you know, if, if anybody has any other issues or concerns, you want to email them to me, I can, I can send them a, a, an email with updated concerns that we have. Um, so that they need to know this uh, if we should proceed. 
Okay. Um, I don't see Mr. Berry, so um, we're going to table number three. Unless Paula wants to speak on anything, or do you have anything to speak on the parks, the clear pond? Uh, uh, no, the um, question was, what was Doug addressing tonight on, under three? I, I, I just put it on. I just put it on to have him. I just want to. I just want to keep it going, Paula. I, I don't want to. I don't want to wait a month before we hear something from Doug. Oh, okay. I, I, I thought maybe he he was. No, no, no. no it was me. I, I put it on, um, and I was hoping that he was going to come in early. Um, but we can talk about it. Um, maybe at the end before executive session. Um, when he does come in. Um, okay. old business. Uh, I do have I do have one question. Um, okay. I don't think it was answered uh, when I uh, asked uh, Doug at the or mentioned it at the last meeting. But the town had set up spreadsheets for documentation on a daily basis. I didn't know if Doug knew about that. Uh, will he have Will we'll he have a up. computer for access and all that stuff? Because you guys set them up last year, and the town set them up. Um, last year, it was between Nelly and and uh, Jesse, and every day he would send a report. And every day, of course, you know this this uh, issue with money that. All right, stop, Paula. Oh, oh, yep. Paula. I'm going to yep. ask you to refrain from talking about the money because last no, time. No, no, only the process. No, don't don't even talk about it. Okay. Because I'll explain later. Okay. Uh, I'm right. just um all right. But yes, the, the paperwork process, he'll have he'll have to he'll have to do whatever's gonna be done. That's all. Okay. I, I just didn't know what he was aware of because I haven't talked to him. Yeah, he, he probably probably isn't aware. Um I did send him that spreadsheet, the one that Jesse had with all the scheduling and all the daily things. Yes. Yeah. Um so we'll okay. we'll talk to him about that and he'll have to uh He'll have to do what he has to do. All right. Yes, Mike. Do you have enough cookies for everyone, or are you just going to keep them to yourself? No, that's my dinner. Oh, okay. That's my All dinner right, right okay. there, Reese's. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Ah, Mr. Doug is in. Hi, Doug. Oh, he's connecting. Mr. Barry, there you go. There you go. How are you? Yep. Good, and you? Good. Um, we were just we were going to skip by number three because you weren't here. Um, but I don't know if you want to bring us um, not necessarily about the employees or that, but anything else, yep. if you want to bring us up to date on. Uh, that would be great. Yep. Um, I had a chance to go to the park a, a, a few times. Um, look it around and, and it looks like pretty good. Looks like everything's pretty much still there and, and in shape. And I know the raft's going to need a little work um the uh instead of picking the anchors up they evidently cut the the chains um so we're gonna have to rebuild the chains and redo the cemented blocks and that kind of stuff how did they cut chains doug uh i don't know they must have used a bolt cutter or something but there's no there's the uh the uh the uh, anchor weights that we have they were they were chained around and cemented together and those are the ones you had to pull them up but when i went over the only thing that's left there are the chains that's it and the chains have been evidently because I didn't see any blocks or anything there. Um, they had used some of the blocks to put the the uh, raft up, but it had fallen off those, and uh, all the straps came off and so forth. But that that happens; those things happen. We can fix all that stuff. Um, as far as the park itself, it looked pretty good. Um, you know, we we have to put up the entrance sign. Um, everything else seemed to be pretty uh, just in place and 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 ready to, to, to get everything going. Um, and now just- Has the town, has the town um, mowed the lawn for you? They did last uh, no. year, but I don't know if they started yet. Yeah, no, they haven't They haven't mm -hmm. mowed in there at all yet. So I think, um, who's in Mike. charge of talking I'll, to I'll Franklin? Talk to him. Is it- um, I am. It's you, Mike? I'll take care okay. of it. Thank you. Hey, Doug. Yeah? When did they test the water? Um, we test the water once a week, and it is usually the week before we open. Uh, but that's the Board of Health. I haven't had a chance to go down and talk to the Board of Health and uh, 
and get all that stuff done. But that's usually the week before um, we open to get it as close as to when we're going to open. Uh, and they'll, they'll, they'll do the test. He might want to do it earlier. I don't know. Um, this is the first time I've, I've had an opportunity to, to, uh, to meet with Last the- Last year, uh, he help. just came the, the week before, Doug. I, you yeah, know, he- That's usually what it is, yeah. Yeah, and then there's another lady that comes to inspect the snack bar. Right, right. And, and the refrigeration and all that. Mm -hmm. It should help out because I still have my safe serve certification. Um, so we legally um, um, have that covered as far as having the, uh, the state serve and not being able to do hot dogs and pizza. And, and we, I know all the things, how to keep everything off. The temperatures have to be set. Yeah. Um, everything has to be cleaned. Everything has to be up off the ground. There's, you know, we have to have hats for the, for the workers. And there's a, there's a little bit that goes to it. Yeah, we'll we left that. the, uh, uh, Doug, we left the hand machine in there. I know that. It, yeah. You know, there were two at John Pond Park and one is yeah. in yours now, okay? Yeah, I was very pleased to see that. That's because that's pretty key. That that saves having to test the water at the, at the faucet there and all that. That's, that's very good. I was very pleased to see that hand washing station that was there. Yeah, the other question is whether or not you need that big freezer in the guard check because um, we wanted to get rid of it and give it to somebody but i don't know that we were we never used it but i mean maybe you used it right for storage. we we use that uh because the crowds were so big um yeah. we used to, instead of ordering uh, we would go through ice cream pretty fast and that was always our overflow um and we'd figure out what then i don't know I, i'd like to keep it just for a little while and see if we can get what we have for crowds, but if we are not going to be able to have crowds and have to use that, then I'd say sure, go ahead. Yeah. Well, there'll be a lot less. Yeah. It's residents only, so you already know that. Right. Okay. Um, Doug and Scott, I don't know what the um, rules are in town, but um, are we going to check out uh, vaccinations? So they have to wear a mask. They got to wear a mask if they're not vaccinated. How are we doing that? I think in open space, oh, they did. Right. we didn't have to do it last year. Right, open space is, is open space, yeah. Okay, so there's no issues even with the person and the food? Nope. Okay. No. Good. Um, Doug, there is some paperwork that you'll have to work on um, kind of on a daily basis, to, uh, recapping some things. Yeah. Um, and. Um, I, I had sent you the, the 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 spreadsheet that Jesse used last year. Um, you know, uh, Paula might be a little more uh, familiar with it uh, than I am. Um, I don't know if if she has some time, she can kind of go over it and just, you know, of course, get of get course. you going in the right direction. Um, and then we can also talk about um, the money process, uh, yeah. but we're not going to talk about that in an open meeting. Right. Uh, um, question. Yes. Uh, is there an anticipated opening date? Uh, what was it, the June? 25th, I thought, I thought we mentioned if, if we had enough lifeguards. Um, yeah, I think that that's the Saturday after after they get out of school, right? Correct. So that was the that was the tentative opening date was the, that Saturday, the 25th. So it's still tentative, correct? Yeah, I mean, tentative as as in... Uh, you know, something would have to happen for it not to be that, you know, we'd have to have some issues um, for it not to be opening day, the 25th. So how you know, do we advertise that? Facebook? Lifeguards or town hall? The park's not ready. Um, that and we can we can put it on the on the signs at Ted Weems camp. You know, okay. um, mm -hmm. that's always a good spot, especially the one out by the police station. Um, um we're going to work towards that date. That's all. Um, you know, um, I don't know where else we're, we'd, we're, we'd, I mean, I'm not going to pay to put it in the newspaper. And I think if we put well, it there. And but is there, a, is there a link for people to sign up and pay? How does that work? Oh, yeah. Paula, why don't you rep reprise us on how that works? Uh, supposedly people go online 
and um, they can buy their season passes there. Okay, and the issue with the gate fees and the snack bar fees were not solved last year. We were trying to get the credit card machines in and for some reason it took too long before we opened and we never got it and it's never been instituted. Um, but apparently uh, that was the goal to get two credit card machines, one at the gate and one in the snack bar. And um, it didn't happen last year and I don't see where Town Hall is initiating it this year, but that was, uh, I believe, an auditor's request. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that was the request to, to cut down on the cash, I'm sure. Um, my question, Paula, is who was the contact at Town Hall to get that last year? Um, was it? I thought it was the select board. Select board? But it would be the administrator at this time, I believe, to go through him and uh, see if we've moved any on getting credit card machines. So Ari or his assistant? Yes. Okay. Scott, it's a lot easier to use an iPad or a smartphone. Why do we got to hook it up and do, do a deal with that? Um, because that's the way they, the town already has some kind of connection and we would be connecting up to that, I believe. No, I'm just and saying that, that we can connect to their account through, uh, through a smartphone, it's just a swipe and then that's it. That way we don't have to worry if the connection's down it goes through data and it's you a mean, lot easier. Uh, you mean for the credit card at the gate and the snack bar, you can do the same? Yeah, just do it on a smartphone, hook it up or, okay. or you just hook if, it up to an iPad. If you don't iPad. have a smartphone, what do you do? No, you use an iPad. I'm sure we can, it'd be cheaper to even get an iPad or something, but you can borrow mine. I mean, it's nothing. It's just swiped and it's ready to go. Um, maybe we can ask them about it and yeah. it's a lot because I'm, I'm not sure of the technology, Mike, and, and I, every time we it comes up, there's always some technical issue as to why it can't happen. Well, you're, so you're, you have your a fees are less, way. too. The fees you're paying mm -hmm. to the credit card are less instead of going through the machine. Yeah. So if, if you <laughs> want to take a look into that or you want me to, just let me know. Okay. No, I think when Scott talks to uh, the town hall administrator or assistant, okay. we can ask all those things so that it's either we can do it or we can't. Okay. Um, do we have anything else for Doug? Any other questions? Are we going into executive session with him or no? Yes, we are. Okay. We're going to do just that. Gonna, a couple more items, a, a few more minutes of of uh, 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 housekeeping items here, and then we're then we're going to stop and go into executive session. Are we going to do executive session last, or are we just going to do some stuff exactly and then come back? Last, last. No, we're not going to come back. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, Doug, do you have anything to add, or? Oh, just saying, got to go. Want to get this thing back? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Want to be open seven days a week, and and like we always have done. That's my goal. God bless That'd you. be great. Okay, moving on so that we can get into that executive session discussion. Um, any old business? Um, we've got a couple of items. Um, horseshoes, have we re received payment from the horseshoes yet? I sent a note yesterday to, I think it was Devaney, asking her if we received any contracts from horseshoes or payment. I have not gotten a response. So I will follow up with that. I'll call tomorrow. Because okay. I don't have access to mail, and I don't know if it's there or not. Or yep. if, if she would send that to us and let us know, or would she just leave it in the office and we got it? No, no, I, I think she'd send us a, a message saying she got something. All right. Um, I haven't seen anything on co-ed volleyball. Is anybody else? Other than mm -hmm. their tournament schedule? Um, field hockey. Um, I, I guess he's been trying to contact Nellie's email and obviously it's not working. Um, yeah. So I, I told him to send his stuff to the, um, the, the general email and, um, but I, I guess they're ready to go. He's got his contract and everything. Okay. Were you going to contact him? Yeah. Do you, do you have his contact or? Uh, it was on the email, right? I believe so. 
Okay. If, if not, not I I'll send you an email. I can give it to you after. Yeah. Um, tennis courts. Any, any uh, as far as resurfacing, any, any, any headway on that? Yeah, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting a couple. Actually, there was a quote last year, which I'm getting the same quote. I'm getting, I'm seeking out two more companies. Uh, Mr. Anthony is going to help me with that. Uh, when I talk to Frank about the uh, clear pond, then we're going to start that going. So okay. I'm hoping by the next meeting, we're, we're going to have that done. Okay, great. And what about clear pond? I'm sorry, Mike. No, no, no. I, I, I need to talk to Frank about mowing clear pond at the same time I'm going to talk to him about the tennis court. And can I ask you to ask him about when he's going to put in the stone in the uh, parking lot and when are we going to get gra uh, more sand for the beach? Those were in the budget and we were getting $4,500 towards um, Right, but we haven't stone. got that money yet. Yeah, the we money haven't got that money yet. yet. So we can't do anything. Okay. Well, I'm, yeah. I'm just, I, 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 I've inquired as to where that money is and yeah. um, I haven't had an answer returned to me. Okay. So we'll just, we'll assume it's not there. Well, it's, it's not there yet. Right. Mike, can I ask one thing? Mm -hmm. uh, the sign down to the gate, we always put it up either with the cherry picker or we had to get on top of one of the dump trucks mm -hmm. uh, because the sign's a lot of, it's, it's, it's heavy and you have mm -hmm. to hold it in the middle in order to get the chain. Uh, it had been pulled out of its eye ring. I don't know if that's something else that it'd be very easy for them to do it. Okay. Um, for us to do it, it's really hard. Nope. I will talk to him tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Well, yes, Paul, I, I agree with you that that is designed for that. Um, but I, I, I have asked about that marijuana money. And um, the last time I asked, um, they said they'd check on it. And I haven't heard back yet. So mm -hmm. I will. That's what we were told at the last meeting also when Paul and I were there. So yeah. So you were told the same thing. Yeah. OK. All right. And, and tied up with that, Scott, is uh, your money for Gamash Park, fifteen hundred dollars to fix it up, and the and the trails, another fifteen hundred. Scott's got all that. I sent it to him. It, there was fifteen hundred for the the Gamash uh, yeah. playground, and fifteen hundred to help clean up those trails, the walking trails. Yep, yeah. and forty five hundred for the gravel. Yes. And what was the other item? Well, the sand was in our budget. Oh, the sand was ours, right? That wasn't part of that. Right. It wasn't over. Yeah. Well, we've got to inquire with someone to uh, procure the, the sand. I can say that um, Burns, uh, Burns Sand and Gravel in Middleborough, they donated yeah. the sand, part of the sand for us last year, but it wasn't enough. So uh, it, can I ask them to uh, drop the sand in there? I, I think that's a case where they'll, they'll possibly donate, but we have to go get it, or we have to ask Franklin to get it. Or did they uh, deliver it last are they year? Charges for, are they charges to drop it off, right? I believe so. I, I, I think that was the deal. They said they'd give us sand if we came and got it. <laughs> right, right. And, and, and he went and got most of it. And, but if we're paying them for the sand, yep. don't you think they would deliver it? We would have to spread it. Right, but they usually, that's a delivery fee. There's usually a fee on top of that for delivery. Is it usually a lot? I don't know. Uh, well, let's, let's find out first, Scott, and then we can talk about it. We don't know anything right now. They're gonna do it anyway. I mean, I, I can call Burns in Middleborough and see what the cost would be and how much to deliver, okay? Okay, great. Um, okay, on to um, Lakeville Tennis Club and pickleball and the tennis courts. So, as you know, I had a meeting last Friday yep. with Richard Anthony. Actually, it was a 90-minute meeting. He's a very, very nice gentleman. Uh, we talked about what was said last year or what was talked about with the previous uh, commission. Um, 
he had mentioned about taking over the courts, doing reservation time. And I said, you know, speaking for me, that's not going to happen. Uh, we're not going to allow anyone to run it privately. Um, I said, what's going to have to happen is that you're going to have to uh, come up with a what everyone else is, is a contract. It's usually a three month time period, $20 per person. So that's the only way we can work. And uh, they'll always will always be a court open for the public to use. So if you're going to use it, you can only use the two courts. So he said, fine. He's going to send me a proposal. And I received the proposal yesterday. And his proposal says, um, two courts to use, five days, likely Monday through Friday, three-hour time slot, 9 to 12, 25 players projected, which is $500. Dates are July 1st to October 31st. We'll get insurance binder if approved. So um, you and I had kind of gone back on this, Scott, and we think that it needs to be changed, altered. Um, so I, I would like to make a, a motion to, to change it and to make a motion for a counter. Yeah, because that 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 entertains two two periods. July yeah. is in the spring period, and and the um the uh, August September October is in the next period. Right. Um, so I, I I think we need a minimum of thirty players. I have no problems with the nine to twelve leaving the court open, and I think for the extra month he should pay an extra ten dollars a head. You think ten or five? What? What? I mean. Well, it's July, September. It's an extra month. October. Yeah. Well, five is fine. We're not gonna. I, I mean, I'm just, I'm just throwing that out there. I mean, you know, it's, the it's other, what the board, what the board wants to do. But, but the, but the only other issue is that he may not be able to use it if, for some reason, we're resurfacing the tennis courts. Then. Yep. So, you know, I, I would, what I would do is just charge him July. August and September, and then we'll see if he can go that next month. Okay. Chances are, if everything goes through, I would like to have it being resurfaced then. Do you think so, so what, what is your time, uh, your, your final uh, solution here? Are you talking about X amount of dollars for each player, or are you talking about renting it for the whole month? I'm, I'm well, we're, confused. We're, we're going to hand it like anyone else, softball or horseshoe. Okay. Beer. They're, they're going to guarantee a certain amount of players for a certain amount of time at $20 a person, and they're only using okay. two courts. So we're, we're, we're saying that, that we need a minimum of uh, $600, 30 people to do and this. And two courts. Two courts. Monday through Friday, likely 9 to 12. For that's, three months. That's a lot of time. For three months. Yeah, but you know, they're not really being used. No one's down there. At least we're going to get some income. Yeah. There's no and, really and the cost to us because the nets are up. Well, um, as, as, as long as they know that there's, you know, it's two courts and that the third court is, yeah, what well, number one is left open. That's, that's all in his proposal. Hey, you know, it's the first year, you know, it's a kind of a trial, trial run. Feeling out period. Paul, you got any uh, questions? Uh, contract. Well, we have to approve what we want to do here first before a but, contract. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I mean, I are, agree, are, are yeah. we all good with the Monday through Friday, nine to twelve? Yeah. At the usual rate of twenty dollars a head. Thirty players, though. Well, I mean, if he can't get thirty players, he can't get thirty players. Okay. I, I mean, I'm just saying, you know, I mean, That's you fine. gotta have. Uh, you're going to have four courts going. So you've got four people on a court. That's that's 16, that's 16 people playing mm. um, at a time. But they're going to be different people. No, I, 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 I realize that. I realize that. I'm just saying. So, um, you know what, for the five, for the extra hundred dollars, let's, let's just let him, let's just feel it out. Let him do 25. See how it works out. Yeah. Especially like you said, if we do get this going, we could be, shut down for a period when they're resurfacing right so yeah let's 
let's see how it goes this year. And, and, and Richard said the other thing, you know, he said the same thing, you know, he's just, uh, he's willing to try it out. He's willing to work with us on anything. He's donating the nets and so. Okay. So what you need to do is, is um, ask our secretary for the pickleball contract mm -hmm. and then you may have to modify it and, and have, and then have her change it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, because it's probably set up for the last group that was in there. Yeah. So you request it from her. She'll, she'll email it to you and then you can mark it up and send it back and she can finalize it. Okay. Uh, can I, uh, just mention something at this time. I've been trying to find contracts and I spoke with um, Devaney. Yeah, they're and on Nelly's. She, they're on the computer. Yeah, yeah. she said uh, she discussed the sports contracts with Nelly in that um, the protocol that was used historically is no paper contracts are issued. All contracts and correspondence are via email. So there is a complete paper trail in the event of any issues. Each contract is detailed and specific for each sport. So another, when we need a specific contract, we have to talk to Devaney. Yes, that's what I just told Mike to do. Huh? That's what I just told Mike to do. Okay, I just wanted to be clear as to how her communication went because I couldn't find the contracts. Except right, because they're, the, they're on the computer. They're all electronic yeah. now. Yeah. So... So what she's got to do is send it to Mike. He's going to mark it up for this yeah. group because it's different from the last group. And then he can send it back to her. She can finalize it and she can, he can give, give her the, um, the email for, for the gentleman over at the Lakeville tennis club and send it to them. Okay. Once, and, once she uh, corrects it. All right. And since we're on contracts, um, what are the tournament fees per se? Are they like a hundred dollars? For everybody that wants, not the benefit tournament, but any con any tournament. Uh, generally, they were two dollars a head. Okay. Plus, plus, like if you have a softball tournament for the weekend, um, they they pay for a porta john and the trash for the weekend. And I think if 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 you have Devaney send you um, the softball contract that Joe would have had in the prior years that would have been outlined on it, I believe. Uh, yeah, actually they're in the file, um, those co old contracts, I can just look at them. Oh, sure, good. Um, and, but there were no, you know, there were no um, other contracts like empty ones. So it's why I was, the other thing is that when we decided that um, we would charge five dollars extra a head for people that wanted the extra month. Uh, the softball people know that it's $25, but they wanted to know, do they pay for electricity and what other fee for that extra month? Well, they, they pay for electricity that they use in the snack stand, yeah. Yeah, we're not gonna pay for it. Why, why would we no, pay no. for it? I, I, you know, he's, he was asking, do we have an electricity price for the, for the extra month? And I, you know, we, we've never done that in terms no, of. No, no. What's, what's happened is Nellie would, Nellie would keep track of it and just bill them what it was. We're not making okay. any money on it. We're not, you know, we're not right. setting a set fee. We're just, you know, if it's $5 one month, $10 the next, $20 the next, Nellie would add it all up and then she would just, you know, give them a, 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 a bill for the electric. That's all. I mean, we're not, okay, we're not trying that's to what I'll tell them then. Yeah. It's just a, it's just a reimbursement of, of the expense. That's all we're asking for. Okay. Okay. I didn't know how to answer them because I wasn't sure. Yeah. Um, no. What they've done in the past. Yeah. Yeah. Nellie's had, um, spreadsheets on that, on the expenses. And, and the electric okay. was broken out. So we've just got to see if she's instructed Devaney to continue to put that in monthly. Yeah. I hope so. Okay. And were there any other charges for those uh, extra months that I might not have uh, gone over? Uh, the, 20, the 25 per person for the extra month and any extra fees other than electric? Um, 
I, I don't think no there's water. any other fees that we charge them other than the per person fee and the electric fee for the softball group. Was there any other? Uh, yeah. How about um, uh, any field fees, um, like maintenance fees or anything like well, no, that? No, but we, we were trying to recoup some of our fertilizer fee and, and that field got fertilized this year. Um, yeah. And but we just we haven't been able to um, pull those numbers together. Okay. So, I mean, there could be a, there could be a, a small, you know, field, field fee, but it's, I mean, we weren't trying to recoup everything. We were just trying to get some of our money back. When so, we were on the soccer board, when, when I was on the soccer board, we used to pay for the fertilizer for the soccer fields. The parks department didn't pay. And somewhere along the line, the soccer club has stopped paying and now the parks is paying and it's become, uh, it's quite a, quite a sum. It's like almost $20,000 for the fertilize all the parks. So can we settle on some amount for the month for some kind of uh, user fee or? Well, it, no, it's not going to be for the month, Paula. It would just be for the whole summer. Oh, um, all right. And it would be based on a, uh, based on a percentage of the, of, of the total fertilizer fee or, Actually, we know what the fertilizer fee is for John Pond because they separated that. Okay. Isn't it easier to- I'll tell them that that, that, that will be coming Paula, now. Um, Hold on, Paula. Isn't it easier to, instead of trying to figure it out, just raise the fees five bucks for everybody? Next year, just say, hey, it's 20, it's 25 now. We have, we have to recoup our chemicals, our, our lime, everything. Instead of charging each individual thing a different thing, just charge it. I mean, I don't think it's going to cause any problems unless. Uh, well, we we talked about that in the spring, but it never materialized. I meant like February or something or March. We were talking about increasing fees, but I don't think we came to a decision. But I thought that would cover if we if we went up on the price, that would cover some of our recoup some of our maintenance fees. Because costs of getting, you know, chemicals, transportation is going up like crazy and we're still absorbing it with these fees. I just think for, to look at it for next year to, you know. Right, it's something we, it's something we have to, we have to, we have to set the price this fall for next year because yeah. they all play in and have registrations in the winter time. Yep. So we need to tell them what the cost is gonna be for the following year. Definitely. Okay. And Doug, while you're here, um, did you were charging, or I, we didn't have any groups last year at Clear Pond Park, but I had an inquiry about using a day at Clear Pond Park by a family. Um, yeah, for and a company outing. Yeah. If they get back to me. What were we charging at? Uh, we didn't have any last year. So what were we charging for for fees for like if somebody wanted to have a company outing? We have a spreadsheet on that from the prior year. We have a list mm -hmm. of, the, of, the, of all the pricing for groups. Right, Doug? Right. We just could ask Nellie where it is. OK. And do we need to? review that and go up on the price again. I, I know we have a okay. lot of different charges. Uh, the, the economy changed and I don't know if the intention is to keep it the same or. Well, we can we can look at those prices. I'll have to ask Nelly um, where we can find those, that pricing for Clear Pond. And um, we can bring that up at the next meeting. Yeah. And um, go forward. All right. Yeah, there's been a couple inquiries, and I, I was waiting to see, uh, ask about, you know, fees like that. So, and then refer it to Doug, and you know, we get a contract like he usually does. I think. Yep. Right. If you want to just pencil in the dates, that's fine, because we. That's will, what we I'm waiting for. Yeah, yeah, I'm waiting I for dates always. and time. I asked I wish him. You, I wish you had said something before. A plan and send it to me and I'll send it to you yep. and uh, we'll know 
we'll have some more. If it comes in, I just want to know how how to go about it. But sure. um, I guess we'll have to settle on a price and uh, get a contract too. I think there was contracts for that too at Clear Pond, right? Right, right. We have a contract that they sign. They come in and verify it. They usually put a deposit down, and then they they fulfill the rest of the deposit when they come. Okay, I sent Nelly a, a, a text. Um, mm -hmm. So we'll get that in the works and then we can revisit it as far as the pricing, if we need to change it. Okay. Um, did anybody receive any other correspondence that I might not have seen other than the lady that wanted Clear Palm Park to be not town people? No, I just texted her back and said this was the decision of the Park Commission and I couldn't change the vote. Yeah, well, I mean, we've also received money because of that. So, I mean, we can't change it now. Nope. Received money? From the town. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because we kept it yeah. like for residents only. Yeah. Well, I didn't get into that. I just wanted no, to. No, I know. No, I, I, I understand. No, I understand. Yeah. I mean, I'm just saying. Okay. Yeah. No, that's a good point. That's... You know, so, okay. Um, any other items from uh, Devaney that you might have received? Other than those things, I know you responded to one. I responded to one. Yeah. Um, I had one for John Pond which I haven't answered yet because she hasn't given me a date or a time. She wants a family softball game if we have a day open. Now, the question is, do we charge for that? Or if the park is open, do they just come in and use it? Or if they're out of town, they have to pay. Wasn't that for Ted Williams camp? No, the- um, Family the kickball lady, game? Huh? Family kickball, that was Ted Williams, Ted Williams. Uh, no, there was another one. Um, I think it was a softball. Uh, I'll see if I have the okay. uh, communication. All right, because I responded to one, and, I, and I, I, I told her, I said, yeah. you know, I mean, if you want to shoot us a day, but, I mean, it's it's a park. You know, if you want to come in and use a field that's open, you know, um, you can. If you want to reserve something for a particular day, then we charge. That's kind yeah, of the I way I put it to her. Yeah. Yeah. She wanted to know what you know, um, what day she could use, blah, blah, blah. And I said, well, I'll look at the schedule. But then I wanted to check with everyone to see if this is a fee that they pay. So if we schedule it, it's a fee. And if it's a fee, what do we charge? And, do, and we have to have a contract, right? We usually ask for a donation. Okay. There's a donation contract. <laughs> is that correct? I don't believe there is. Like the tournament contract? Yeah, probably. Yeah, for the for the Looney Looney tournament you're talking about. No, so no, yeah, I mean, I know that one is a benefit and it's a, a donation, but it's a contract. The other one, if she wants to have a family softball game on a certain day, is this a donation or is this a, a contract? Well, it has to be reserved if she wants it, because if she doesn't reserve it and there's someone down there playing, then. Yeah, but I'll, I'll give her that information. The question is, do we charge them or not? And are they using the bathrooms and do I open them and do we charge them? What if we just say it's a donation? Is that uh, acceptable? A hundred dollar donation for the day? Yeah, if you're going to open up the bathrooms, yeah. Okay. And I still get a contract? I don't think you have to. Okay. No. Well, thank you. Or even $50 for the day. I mean, if it's just one yeah. day, you know. Yeah. Four. More, to, more to cover for the trash and the use of the bathrooms than anything. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Um any other business uh, 
that's come before the park during the week? Nothing. All of you have anything? No, I, I, just those inquiries. About okay. It. Mike, do you have anything? Nope. Okay. Um, let's uh, pick a date for the next meeting. Thursdays are usually good. Huh? Thursdays are usually pretty good. Okay, June June sixteenth at seven o'clock. It's good for me. Okay, we'll have to check with um, Lake Cam. Okay. Now, Scott, um, one yes. other question: If I get a hold of Burns, and I can get, um, is Doug still here? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, we had fifty donated last year. Um, fifty yeah, yards of sand. We're asking for another 150 to cover the whole beach, and because it's the grass that's growing up closer to the pond, yeah, we want to make sure we cover that, right? Right. So, uh, do you feel that 150 yards more is going to be sufficient? Um, I'm trying to think. We figured that. 200 yards, but we already put in 50, so you put in 50. And that covered. And then we had. I'm sorry. And the 50 covered the right side. Yeah, when you drive it, you know where the uh, guide shack is, yeah. and the um, it, there was a big section there, but it, you really need it down near the water. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And then back. Yeah. And then I want to get it there before the guy comes to till it. Right. Because it, right? It smells. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, that, Doug, excuse me. Do, you, do you, uh, and I know I'm putting you on the spot with this question. Sure. Um, do you remember what we used to get years back? How much we used to get? We used to get about 15 truckloads. Ooh, yeah, that's what we used to get. Well, how big was the truck? <laughs> uh, it was the town truck. The town. Oh, oh that's why it's 15. Yeah. yeah. I was hoping that if we get the 150 and they bring their big trucks. We can be there so they they back in and get it closest to what we need so we can spread it. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And but again, I, I think a hundred an extra hundred and fifty will should cover that whole area pretty much. But I may be wrong. I'm um yeah, I'm not a maintenance person. Yeah, they, they when they came in before, they would just come in and they'd go truck wrap the, the truck, they just keep coming until they finish it and I'm it, you could have been 15 it could have been 18 it could have been but they they didn't like they just did it until it was done so we don't really right. know the the yeah. yardage it's a okay. it's, yeah it's 100 yards by 30 yards towards the concession stand and uh, maybe 20 yards to the to the left of the consent you know if we figure out the yardage that way uh, concession stand got filled last year in front yeah. of it. So if you did 100 by 20, 100 yards, I don't know how many how many is in a uh, 150 yards. 100 times 30, you're talking 300 yards to do the whole thing. And you've already done 50, maybe 150 or 200 if they could, if they could do it. All right. Uh, it. Uh, I'll, I'll ask about 200. But yeah. um, and I'll ask about them delivering it. How would the town spread it, or does anybody know? Um, Mike, I'm going to ask to ask Frank if he's done it before, or or if it's something on a schedule. Somebody did it last year, and we weren't there, and they spread it right. where we really we really wanted it down near the water, but it was already spread because nobody told us it, they were gonna do it. And I think it must've been the town because somebody had a key to get in there. So it had to be the town. So maybe they'll spread it for us again, Mike. Yeah, uh, Doug, when we're done, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you my email address. I want you to give, and Paula too, give me a list of what exactly you're requesting of Frank. I wrote some stuff down, but I want it. So I yes. have it when I go speak to him. You know, with the with the sign and uh, yeah. the mowing, and now the sand. You can put in a request, please, and maybe a timeline, because you would have to put it on a schedule. Okay. Yeah, well, we'll need the, the the stone and the sand before the twenty fifth. 
But the question about the, the stone is that whether we have the money from the um, marijuana uh, re reimbursement. I, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't count we'll on that right now. I, I would go ahead and unless we hear something, just go ahead with the sand um, and not worry about the stone. Um, uh, I, I'm just being honest with you because they haven't given us an answer in months. So. Well, uh, maybe Scott, if he's asking um, Ari uh, about other things, he might get an idea, Scott, of when we can um, get stone uh, delivered and uh, will we have the money, you know, by July or something like that? All on when we get the money. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I said it's all on when we get the money. Yeah, well. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah. you know, we're, we're, we're at their whim with that. Yeah, I just didn't know if maybe you could pin them down. Okay. Just just go on like we don't have the money until we have the money. But tell me something. If we got the stone and we didn't pay it till September, would that be a terrible thing? I'm, I'm sure the people giving us a stone wouldn't be too happy about it. And there's no mm -hmm. guarantee we'd get it in September. Yeah. That wouldn't be good business practice. Well, they might trust us. <laughs> yeah, not in this economy. Um, you know what? You know, Nelson's that donated all the mulch, they have stone. I wonder, I bet they'd trust us. They would do anything for the town. So I'm, I'm just throwing it out there. But I don't know if if Frank gets his stone from some particular buyer either. Probably I don't does. Know how. Huh? He probably has a bid, he probably has a bid price. Uh -oh. He probably well, gets it off the state, state sheet. Oh, um, even if it's not over 10,000, he still bids it? Well, he doesn't have to bid it, but they usually, they, they usually bid and then you, you have a sheet and you, you, you can just get that price at any time. Okay. But I don't know. I don't know if that's where he was going to get it or not. Yeah. I haven't talked. I haven't talked to him about it. All righty. I'll, I'll have an answer uh, on the uh, amount of the sand and the uh, delivery costs next time. Okay. Okay. Great. All right. At this point, at uh, seven fifty-seven, we're going to adjourn and go to uh, executive session, and we will not be returning to open meeting. We will close from there and end our meeting. So um, I'd like to entertain a motion to close this meeting at 7.57. Okay. I second the motion. Okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Michael? Aye. Paula? Aye. Scott? Aye. Aye. Okay. So we will adjourn this meeting and reopen an executive session. Um, you do have the contact email for that. Yeah. yeah. And I will I will call um I will call Tracy to get it started. Mr. Chairman, you need to go through a formal process to go into executive session. There is a text you have to read and you have to take a vote. Oh yes, you're right. Sorry. Thank you. No, that's fine. Um We'll be going into executive session uh, pursuant to Mass General Laws uh, C30A, paragraph 21A, to consider to uh, to consider our interview process for applicants for employment for a, a uh, preliminary screening um, for uh, Clippon Park, and we will not be returning into open session. Uh, Mr. Chairman, will we be discussing the clerk also? Uh, we will and be like discussing that? it, um, but we will not be. Uh, I've been advised by HR that we should come up with an uh, interview process for that position. Okay. So we can discuss them also. That is part of the part of the deal here. Okay. Um, roll call vote. Yep. Um, so we, uh, Michael Smith, how do you vote? Aye. Paula Hull, how do you vote? Aye. Scott Holmes, aye. So at 7.59, we'll be closing this meeting. Thank you.